Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here and welcome back to the channel in the Let's Learn series. Today we're again back at it with the Bash Bunny and today I want to cover geofencing because I know some of you guys have some questions on what exactly that even is. So basically geofencing allows us to generate almost like a map of the area and make sure that when we're running our payload, it's actually running where we need it to run um, rather than running in some other location on someone else's computer that we're not supposed to be doing an engagement on. So with the Bluetooth detection that I covered in the previous video for remote triggers, we can kind of look through a network of Bluetooth devices and depending on what Bluetooth devices are already existing in the environment, we can use that information to determine if we're in the right environment. And I'll kind of show you guys that right now. Go ahead and put your Batch Bunny in arming mode and plug it into your computer. All right, you can see the Batch Bunny is connected to our computer now. So let's go ahead and minimize this and open whatever text editor you guys use to develop your payloads. I'm gonna be using Atom. So we made a simple header, kind of talking about how we're gonna be doing geofencing on the Batch Bunny. It's just a proof of concept and our target's gonna be Windows 10 and our attack mode is a human interface device. So last episode, we did a Hello World payload. So today we'll do a website opener payload. I feel like that'll be a little bit more unique, a little bit more different and still get the point across about geofencing, right? So here we've just set up the Bash Bunny and chosen the attack mode for a human interface device, something like the keyboard. And here we just open the Cosmodium CS website, so CCS, um, using the run box. And that's it. So very simple payload. We can save it to our switch position on the Bash Bunny. Eject this. All right, you can take your Bash Bunny out, put it whatever switch you saved the payload to, minus switch position to, and we'll plug it back in into our computer. And just like that, it opened up my website, CosmodiumCyberSecurity.com. It's a pretty cool website. You guys can check it out if you want. It has some articles and stuff. But regardless, you saw very simple payload, right? But now if someone put this anywhere, all the courses are free. Yeah, the courses are now free. Um, so feel free to check out those courses if you want. We have a Python course and a uh, cryptography course. But regardless, this is a pretty cool payload, right? It just, you plug it in and it opens up a website. But now this payload can be put, put anywhere and it will just run. So if you put this in the wrong computer that's not supposed to be involved in your engagement, you can get a lot of trouble. So what we can do is something called geofencing, right? We can make a map of the area where we want the payload specifically to be run. So let me show you how we can kind of do that. So we've reconnected our Bash Bunny to the computer in arming mode. We can go ahead and go back to our payload. And now we can actually create the geofencing area, right? So how do we do that? Let me go on my phone. So we can see what Bluetooth devices are in the area by looking at the settings on your phone. Let me turn on this Bluetooth speaker. You'll hear it go off in a second. and you can see a BT Adventure SPK. That's the Bluetooth speaker, all right? So now we know that this Bluetooth speaker is on, right? Now we, we can see that's there. Let me take out these Bluetooth earphones and then you'll see a Tozo T10 appear or T-O-Z-O Tech T10. Because both of those devices are on, we know that this is my room because those devices are only in my room. So if our target for our engagement is in this room, we can make sure that this payload only runs in this room because those devices are there. So what we can do is have our um, wait for command. So wait for present. And then we can do a Tozo Tech T10. And we can do this again, wait for present. And this time we can have it detect the Bluetooth 
Adventure SPK. So because we are looking for both of these devices before we run the payload, we are ensuring that we are only running the payload in this room where these devices are present. So now we can go ahead, save this, X out, and eject the Bash Bunny. Go ahead and unplug, put it in whatever switch position you saved it to. I saved it to switch position number two, and go ahead and plug it back into your computer. And now it has that magenta light and it's gonna be waiting for those devices to be detected. Now, if you saw the previous video with remote triggers, you would know that the Bluetooth detection is kind of weird. It takes a second. Um, so I'm gonna just cut to when it actually, you know, does its thing. Oh, okay, there you go. And it's opening the website. And there you go. Although it did take a second, and I'm sure Hack5 will fix that in the future, it worked. The, the concept worked, right? The payload only ran as soon as it was able to detect that we were in the right environment. We weren't, you know, somewhere else plugging this in, in the wrong area plugging this in. It just ensures that your engagements when you're working, you know, as a penetration tester, as a red team or whatever, it allows you to make sure that you're running your payloads on the in the right area right now with the remote triggers i mentioned before you can kind of trigger it so you can have like a detonator almost but with geofencing it will only run if it's in the right area so you don't have to trigger anything it'll just run because it's in the correct environment so that's the whole concept of geofencing um i'll kind of come back to my face here but again that's going to be it for this video i know it's a little bit more of a proof of concept type video but i hope you guys still enjoyed it and you guys can now kind of apply this concept into your own payloads um leave a comment on what type of payloads you'd like to see in the future going on and yeah so make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one so stay happy stay positive and as always happy hacking